Planet Earth is recognized as one of the places that houses numerous strange and wonderful antiquities and treasures, arousing the curiosity and admiration of scientists as they attempt to discover the facts behind these finds and learn more about ancient civilizations. In this video, we will show you some of these wonders that will surely impress you. One of these amazing finds deep in Catacamas, Honduras, lies a unique archaeological treasure, the Cave of Shining Skulls, also known as the Talgua Caves. This site has captured the imagination of explorers and scientists since its discovery in 1994 by speleologists Desiderio Reyes and Jorge Yanes. The distinctive feature of this cave lies in the effect of its calcite crystals, which gave the human bones deposited by ancient civilizations a peculiar luminosity. Natural lime carbonate, known as calcite, dissolved in the water of the caves, settling on the remains and preserving them with a white layer that fused them with the soil. The accidental discovery took place during an expedition along the Talgua River. The explorers stumbled upon a cave filled with pottery and human remains, revealing an unexpected archaeological treasure. The human bones found in these caves date back more than 900 years BC, providing scientists with a unique window to study the cultural practices and living conditions of ancient populations in the region. This exceptional geological phenomenon, where nature and history intertwine, continues to intrigue experts who continue to use modern technology to explore the depths of these caves. The Cave of Shining Skulls not only illuminates Honduras past, but also sheds light on traditions and beliefs that have endured through the centuries. In its mysterious glow, this archaeological site remains a fascinating enigma that sparks the curiosity and admiration of those seeking to understand the secrets of the past. On the vast plains of Odestal, Near Klerksdorp in South Africa, lies an archaeological mystery that has baffled scientists since their discovery in the early 20th century, the Klerksdorp spheres. These small metal objects, with remarkably smooth and identical surfaces, date back to an astonishing age, more than 3 billion years old. The Klerksdorp spheres have captured the attention of the scientific community due to their peculiar shape and the strangely carved grooves on their surface. Although some scientists have suggested that the unique appearance of these spheres could be the result of the gradual accumulation of minerals over eons, uncertainty remains as to their true purpose, their geological origin, and their exact age. This archaeological enigma highlights the continuing ability of scientists to explore and confront mysteries that have not yet been fully solved. Despite the various theories proposed over the years, the Klerksdorp spheres remain a fascinating enigma, reminding us how much remains to be discovered in the most ancient and mysterious corners of our past. The search for answers continues, underscoring the intrigue and challenge presented by exploring unique archaeological objects like these enigmatic spheres. The Notre Dame Church fire in Paris was a tragic event that shocked the world on April 15th. 2019. Notre Dame, considered one of the most famous and iconic churches in the world, was severely damaged when a massive fire broke out and destroyed part of the structure, including the roof. The fire was a significant challenge for French firefighters and authorities, who worked hard to control the flames and save what remained of the historic structure. Despite the damage, much of the church and its treasures were able to be preserved thanks to the efforts of emergency teams. Restoration of Notre Dame began shortly after the fire, with the intention of returning the church to its historic splendor. Considerable efforts were made to raise funds and coordinate restoration work, which included rebuilding the roof and spire, which collapsed during the fire. During this process, two coffins were discovered in the church, each with ashes inside. One of these coffins is claimed to have belonged to a high priest named Antoine Delafort, and contained a large amount of hair. By analyzing these elements, scientists determined that Delafort was a habitual alcohol drinker. It is mentioned that the differences in the design of the TWA bed confirm that these people did not live at the same time. The second coffin contained the remains of an unidentified man whose age is estimated to be between 25 and 40 years old. 
Some believe that this man belonged to a different era than Antoine, which has sparked the curiosity of many scholars who seek to investigate and explore to identify the ancient characteristics of that era in which these people lived, the cave castle. Prejima Castle is an unusual castle located in a cave at the end of a valley in Slovenia. It is famous for being the largest cave castle in the world. Its history dates back to the 13th century, and its Renaissance facade from the 1580s adds a touch of grandeur to this impressive structure. Even seemingly ordinary details, like the castle's toilet, have interesting stories. The castle's history is linked to Erasmus von Lug, a local Robin Hood-like figure, who took refuge there after a duel that resulted in the death of an earl and a siege of the castle. Erasmus stood his ground and used secret tunnels to survive, even sending cherries to his enemies from a distant valley through underground passages. Finally, he was betrayed and killed by a cannonball while using the toilet. But this next cave also has its own story, the Holy Well of Cornwall. The charming town of Holy Well attracts tourists and is famous for its Holy Well Cave. The name of the town comes from this well, which is only revealed at low tide. At the northern end of the beach there is a cave that leads to a freshwater spring, and it is said that ancient monks performed baptisms there. The rock formations leading to the pool resemble a staircase. However, there is another version of the story that says that the well had healing properties and that parents used to bring sick children to immerse them in its cold waters. There are no Christian symbols near the well, so this story may also be true. Finding the holy well can be a bit tricky, as there are no signs marking it, and it sits discreetly at the end of the beach, where the cliffs almost reach the shore. The cave entrance has striking mineral deposits that make it beautiful but slippery. Although the waters are clear, what if they were a little more colorful? The lost city of Zinj. In the mysterious Virunga region of Africa, we find the city of Zing, a place with an intriguing history. In its heyday, Zing prospered thanks to the diamonds beneath its soil, which the wise King Solomon is said to have discovered. Here, residents carried out a unique enterprise, breeding guardians, including gorilla-human chimpanzee hybrids. These guardians were notable for their intelligence and dedication to protecting the city. Over time, Zing was abandoned by its human inhabitants, becoming the lost city of Zing. Zing's story remains an enigma, demonstrating the human ability to create extraordinary beings and the wonder of nature. Ruby Falls, Tennessee Deep within the caverns of Lookout Mountain in Chattanooga, Tennessee, Ruby Falls is a spectacular underground waterfall that falls 145 feet down a massive vertical shaft, making it the tallest underground waterfall in America. These caves have a rich history, having been used as a shelter during the Civil War and later sealed due to railroad construction. It was an amateur speleologist named Leo Lambert who rediscovered them by digging a tunnel in the mountain and named the waterfall Ruby Falls in honor of his wife. Today, Ruby Falls is illuminated with colorful lights that create a stunning visual spectacle. Like many other Lookout Mountain caves, it features an impressive collection of stalactites and stalagmites in various forms. The view of the waterfall illuminated by colorful lights makes it look like something out of a fairy tale or a disco. Strange Cloud In the early hours of the morning, an unusual spectacle unfolded in the sky the appearance of a cloud known as morning glory, a rarity that rarely occurs in the lower layers of the atmosphere before a storm. Surprisingly, these clouds can extend up to 1,000 kilometers in length, sometimes forming up to eight consecutive rings. Normally, this type of phenomenon is observed in places such as Australia, the United States and Germany. Although research is being carried out to understand why these unique clouds form, they still remain largely an enigma. The appearance of these clouds is rare in the lower layers of the atmosphere and is generated when low. Horizontal clouds pass through different layers of air with variations in temperature and humidity. Cresswell Crags Cresswell Crags is a limestone gorge on the border between Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire that holds prehistoric secrets. The caves, crevices and rock shelters have been explored by archaeologists since the 19th century, 
unearthing relics that were underground, protective markings called which marks have also been discovered in a remote cave in the gorge. These marks are more than 60,000 years old and are called apotropaic marks because they were used to ward off bad energies. These markings are found on the walls and ceilings of caves, often near dark areas. Although Cresswell Crags houses the largest collection in the UK, the majority is in an inaccessible chamber for security reasons. These marks show us how people protected themselves from invisible forces in the past. The Phenomenon of Red Goblins Also known as lightning bolts, they are electrical discharges that occur in the upper atmosphere above thunderstorms. They are characterized by their red color and are caused by electrical discharges in elevated regions above storms. Unlike regular lightning, which occurs beneath clouds, red sprites occur high above them and are produced due to cold plasma phenomena interacting with warmer temperatures in the atmosphere. The Lost River Cave In Bowling Green, Kentucky is the Lost River Cave, surrounded by forests on more than 60 acres. This natural wonder is home to a river that flows underground. Throughout its history it has had diverse uses, from a nightclub to a sawmill, civil war camp, and landfill. The impressive limestone walls surrounding the underground river extend for about seven miles below Bowling Green. Today, visitors can explore it through guided tours, boat rides, and kayaking. The cave also has an earlier history, being used by Native Americans as a shelter and water source. The establishment of the first sawmill was a turning point, as water powered the mill and cleaned away waste. During the Civil War, the cave served as a shelter for Confederate and Union troops at different times, with the limestone walls engraved with the names and details of nearly 40,000 Union soldiers who camped there. The Mountain of Gold Recently, what appears to be a mountain of gold was discovered in Congo, attracting thousands of villagers who dug it up with shovels in their hands. This event highlights the abundance of natural resources in the country, but despite its wealth, Congo remains one of the poorest countries due to inequality in the distribution of wealth. Authorities intervened to recover the gold and temporarily halted mining activities in the area until regulations were met. Additionally, some people have linked this discovery to ancient prophecies about momentous events. Only time will reveal its true importance and consequences. The Cave of Agonizing Death In the 20th century, a brave explorer stands out in the jungles of the Congo, Attilio Gatti, an Italian whose life took an unexpected turn. After battling tuberculosis in World War I, he went to Egypt in search of a cure, which led to a fascination with Africa. Godi became a passionate explorer and documentary filmmaker, connecting two cultures through his films. However, his story becomes entangled in an enigma, the cave of agonizing death. In 1928, defying the odds, he explored this dark cavern in Mumbai. He found a terrifying landscape of skulls and skeletons, with snakes and spiders. The authenticity of the legend remains a mystery, but Godi never ventured into that sinister cave again, which became a reminder of the mysteries that persist in the heart of Africa. Janolan Caves The Janolan Caves in Australia are famous for being one of the most impressive and ancient cave systems in the world. They are located in New South Wales, about 109 miles west of Sydney and cover an extensive reserve of 7,620 acres. These caves are known for their beautiful calcite formations and also contain Silurian marine fossils. The cave system follows the course of the underground Janolan River, with more than 300 entrances spanning more than 25 miles. The caves are an ongoing exploration site and have been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the Blue Mountains region due to their environmental importance. The name Janolan is believed to come from an indigenous word meaning foot-shaped high place. Another unlikely theory associates the name with the initials J.E. Nolan, but this interpretation is viewed with skepticism. Reed Flute Cave, China Within Gillen is the Reed Flute Cave, a natural wonder. Upon entering, you are met with sparkling dew-covered stalagmites that create a magical atmosphere. 
The cave is illuminated with colorful lights that highlight massive natural formations, making it look like an underground fantasy kingdom. An underground river flows calmly through the cave, reflecting the beauty above and amplifying its natural splendor. Inside, you'll find unique formations that resemble mythological creatures or human structures, such as the Statue of Liberty. Bill Forest's Monkeys A surprising revelation has put Bill's Forest, where Charles Darwin's ideas on evolution have been studied for generations, in the spotlight. The search for the missing link connecting humans and primates has been a long-standing mystery. Although we share a common ancestor with monkeys, the difference between us has baffled scientists. In the Congo, an advanced civilization of chimpanzees known as Billy Apes has been discovered. These chimpanzees share much of their DNA with humans and are larger and more aggressive than others. They even face lions. Skulls found in the region bear similarities to chimpanzees and gorillas, which has led to speculation that they could be a missing link in human evolution. The scientific community is interested in this revelation, as it could help solve one of the greatest mysteries in our history, the mysteries of Stonehenge. Stonehenge, a Neolithic monument in the United Kingdom, has intrigued over the centuries. Imagine huge stones standing four meters high, weighing a staggering 25 tons each, forming a great circle on Salisbury Plain. Inside, a smaller ring embraces two vertical stones joined by a horizontal lintel. Stonehenge also has an amazing astronomical alignment with the sunrise during the summer solstice. Its origin and construction, with primitive technology, remain mysteries. The stones are believed to have been placed at the site around 2400 BC to 2200 BC, but how they were transported and lifted remains enigmatic. Stonehenge was probably used as a burial site from 3000 BC, although its exact purpose remains unresolved. In the heart of Wiltshire, Stonehenge is a monument that evokes awe and wonder, with stories from the past yet to be discovered.